glance, Roger Bain looks like an independent guy who loves his power tools. And he is. But here's what he's actually seen since he was a young man. Camera that you can put around but part of his world is slowly coming back into focus through experimental technology called BrainPort. One day, it could actually help blind people see, in a sense, using their tongues. Yes, their tongues. It swaps tiny cameras for eyes and transforms the images into electrical impulses that are felt on the tongue. It's as if it's drawing on the tongue the still image. And so if you capture the images fast enough, paint them fast enough, it's like a video display. Instead of being on a screen, now it's on your tongue. You know, when you're a kid, I don't know if you did or not, but when you're kids, kids would draw on your back and you try to guess what it is. In normal vision, the eyes send signals to the middle of the brain. From there, the signals are sent directly to the visual cortex at the back of the brain. Not so for the blind. The brain port retrains the way the brain processes information by first stimulating the tongue with an array of tiny electrodes. The nerves in the tongue send signals through a different pathway to the brain stem and the area that deals with touch. Eventually, the blind person learns to interpret touch as sight in the visual cortex. Sounds impossible? Well, watch how Roger walks through the Brainport office without any guidance. He can navigate this obstacle course, picking out specific shapes. Excellent. The camera sees this image, Roger feels it on his tongue, and that's how he can even spot the logo on a football jersey. Very good. Other blind volunteers recognize numbers. Nine. It's like learning a language. At first, you might need to spend a lot of time thinking about what the translation is. I may feel stimulation in the right front part of my tongue. What does that mean? But very rapidly, like learning a language, you might learn a few uh, quick vocabulary, and eventually you become so fluent that you don't need to think about it anymore. Blindfolded, I try it myself. After a humbling first attempt... I want to say it's diagonal. Okay. And this one is vertical. I managed to understand some of the Brainport language. Mm. I'm going to say it goes this way. You are correct. Okay. The technology is improving. Today, a car looks like this to a Brainport user. A few months from now, they hope it will look like this. And in a year and a half, more like this. For the blind, they're a glimpse at more freedom. This develops where the next generation can really get benefits from it, even if I don't get the greatest out of it. I am still can determine if I can see their eyes and maybe even see a smile or a grin, you know, that kind of stuff. It can be cool. And for the rest of us, it's a miraculous look at how our brains can be trained to rewire themselves. Daniel Seberg, CBS News, Madison, Wisconsin.